All right, so quick disclaimer. This is the second part to a previous video where I played the wonderful clan gen game. It's this cute little pixel game where you can pick and choose your clan members. The cats featured in this video are directly from that gameplay, which is by no means necessary to watch. However, their backstories are a combination of my already existing lore as well as the events that took place in the game. The gameplay itself is pretty interesting, so if you're interested in watching, it'll be linked below. And as usual, to make a long story short, my four main clans, Fog Clan, Ripple Clan, Flood Clan, and Valley Clan, used to live in a huge valley between two mountains. And after a terrible storm, a flood hit them, and many cats or groups of cats were separated permanently. Anyway, enough about the lore, let's focus on the cats! First up, we have the leader. Quiet Star, previously known as Quiet Step, is a short furred golden and white tom with blue eyes. He was originally a part of Fledge Clan before the Great Flood happened. He earned his name several days after being born, not so much as mouthing a peep. His other siblings were quite rowdy, pushy, and noisy. He grew up to be one of the most relaxed warriors in the camp, often evading loud bickering or nerve-wracking quarrels. He kept a lot to himself, and that stuck with him as a warrior. He never had any interest in making friends or finding a mate. After the events of the Flood, he felt as if he'd done very little to help his clan during the tragedy, and even beforehand. He vowed to break from his socially awkward self and become more outspoken, even being driven to gather a new group of cats together and deem himself the leader. He would practice talking in an authoritative way so other cats would stop overlooking him. The first cat he met after everything was settled was Skyseed, and they soon became attached at the hip. However, after gathering the new group of cats and forming their own little clan, Quietstar became distant and cold, returning back to his old habits of being a loner. The longing for his old life finally set in and he admits that he was only using Skyseed's company as a distraction from everything, revealing that he never wanted to take on a mate in the first place. He continues on as a leader, and even after they part their ways, he reaches out to Skyseed for help running the clan. Alright, moving on to the clan's deputy, Skyseed. Skyseed is a short-furred, tortoiseshell she-cat with white patches and blue eyes. She's an outgoing, logical thinker of a she-cat. She was originally a member of Fog Clan and the sister to Turtlestone. She was still an apprentice when getting separated from the clans. Not long after gathering a few cats, she became the root of the new clan. She was dubbed the suffix Seed as a way to appreciate her skills and ability to bring cats together. It didn't take her long to become Quiet Star's deputy either. She's quite the social butterfly and has a very pleasant way of speaking to others, and was the main scout of the new group to bring the other lost cats back together. She also has a fondness of kittens, originally wanting to fall more into the queen role in her previous clan when she became old enough. She believed that Star Clan had destined her to meet with Quiet Star and start a new clan. However, that fell through moons after the clan became semi-established as Quiet Star shut her away and hurt her feelings. Once he admitted he didn't want to continue a relationship, she sought comfort in one of her closest friends in the clan, Blue Runner. They became nearly inseparable, and to her own surprise, Skyseed found love in the most unexpected way. The clan's medicine cat is Webpelt. Webpelt is a pale grey, classic tabby, medium furred tom with hazel eyes. He's the sole cat who was able to reconnect to Star Clan after the flood. He's the last of the initial clan members in the newly formed clan. After witnessing a shooting star split into two in the sky, he realized it may have been a bad omen from Star Clan and assumed that bad times were to come. Trying to work through this initial fear, he continued to seek connection from his ancestors. For moons after the formation of the new clan, he was met with utter silence in his dreams, nothing beyond the standard prey chase or rolling in warm grass. Webhult was beginning to lose hope until his dreams started to take a weird turn. They were becoming progressively more broken and outlandish. Figures and landmarks turned dark, and dreams would merge into one another, and everything just fell off. During the day, he would often see others entering and exiting camp, and upon blinking, they would be gone. He would even see lights at night and stars trailing across camp as if they were reflecting from the sky above. He felt like he was being driven insane, and when mentioning this to the others, they would dismiss his worries, saying that they believed the connection to Star Clan went with the other group of remaining cats. It wasn't until taking Wildpaw on as an apprentice did he regain hope. Through her intense dreams, he realized that the cats he met in his dreams and the figures he kept seeing are wandering souls in search of Star Clan. Blue Runner, previously just called Blue, is a ginger point long furred she cat with blue green eyes. She's a caring, respectful cat who would willingly put others before her. 
She tends to be motherly towards others, knowing that she is unlikely to ever have kids of her own. She came from a line of posh kitty pets, but due to her size, fur length, and energetic nature, she was difficult to maintain. In her younger days, she would have never considered leaving the comfort of her two legs house, but also didn't enjoy much of the company of the cats living with her. However, out of sheer curiosity, she wandered a bit too far from home and came back super dirty and unrecognizable. Her two legs chased her away, thinking that she was some wild cat. Her spirits were crushed and she gave up hope on two legs, eventually running into a patrol from Cavern Clan. Despite her size, she was very fast and narrowly escaped a chase from them. Her second encounter was by a large stream, where Skyseed was patiently waiting for her return. Skyseed felt her clanmates were too quick to judge and helped her clean up the fur in the spots that she couldn't reach. Another cat had never shown her as much compassion. After nearly a moon of resistance and bolting out of anxiety-riddled conversations, Blue Runner decided to give the group a try, and to her surprise, they were very welcoming. Chive's ring, previously just called Chive, is a white, long-furred she-cat with dark ginger patches and dark blue eyes. She grew up with four other litter mates, which were all toms, in an old Tule cabin far from the creek. Her brothers were kind of wild and menacing and played super rough. She picked up on their hot-headed personalities after being picked on more often than not, learning to stand her ground and put them in their place. She also had her size to use to her advantage as she grew up just as large as them. They had always heard rumors of clan life growing up and as expected, the rumors were always terrible, awful things. They even jokingly made up their own clan called Killer Clan and made small games out of it. During the storm that led up to the Great Flood, the cabin was struck by lightning and they were forced to flee. In a panic scatter, in a panic scatter everyone separated from one another and Chive took shelter in the nearby caverns. She'd lived there on her own from around six moons to about nine moons old. One day, a new group of cats appeared and it took a long time for Chive to come around to them, but she eventually did, earning herself a spot with the new family. She's an extremely great hunter and her large size and messy long fur alone scared away enemies that came up. She was briefly trained by Skyseed to learn the ways of the clans. She took clan life extremely well and often wishes that she could be a higher ranking in the clan, striving to one day be deputy. Clovermoth is a pale golden and white medium furred she-cat with green eyes. She's the youngest warrior of the bunch and was found all alone at less than a moon old alongside her sibling, Riverkit. She doesn't know much about her past, family, or how her and her brother wound up in a cave all by their lonesome. She has no memory of even being brought into camp. They were both extremely malnourished. Riverkit struggled far more than she did, but even so, she had a hard time trying to maintain body weight. A nearby, newly nursing kitty pet was found almost too late to take them in, but they managed to pull through. Riverkit's health kept declining until he unfortunately couldn't keep fighting, and from then on she swore to live on for him. Her former mentor is Chive Spring. When she was first in training, she would often get dreams where she would see Riverkit. Her heart absolutely aches for him, and she will sometimes ask Wildpaw if she has been visited by him recently. She goes on to become the most caring and compassionate cat in the clan, having an oddly strong connection to Star Clan through the visitations of her brother. She kind of goes in between being a warrior and helping Webpelt and Wildpaw in the medicine den. <laughs> Maverick! <laughs> oh. Maverick is one of the local nearby kitty pets. He's a pale and dark orange tabby, medium for a tom with green eyes. One leaf bearer he's found hiding out in one of the nearby caves by a patrol. On the patrol was Chive Spring and Clover Moth. They both kindly offered him food and shelter with the other cats after having a long discussion with him about why he was out and about. He had been previously looking for his kits who had went missing several moons ago, but got trapped in the cave after snow started falling and just spent another few months there hunting on his own. He clicks and bonds with Clover Moth almost immediately, laughing about how they share so many traits despite never knowing one another. They kind of dance back and forth, joking about how they look similar and how Clover Moth reminds Maverick of his previous mate who was taken away by her two legs owner without warning. Not long after, they reconcile as father and daughter and mourn the loss of River Kit together. He explained that their mother likely left them in the wrong area by accident, thinking Maverick would soon find them. But he was a tad too late. In all actuality, Maverick was seeking revenge and spending moons and moons trying to find and end the lives of his mate's kit out of pure spite of her suddenly leaving him alone and heartbroken. He had made up this intricate lie to get Clovermoth to trust him, but before he could act on anything, he ends up being fatally wounded by a dog attack. Clovermoth never finds out the truth, but always wonder why he never visits her in Star Clan.
Horsepaw, later known as Horse Feather, is a black and white, short fur tuxedo she cat with pale green eyes. She's quite the tomboy in nature and loves to adventure and explore. She doesn't quite know right from wrong and was the first apprentice taken into the new clan. She was previously a kitty pet who lived in a small neighboring town. Out of sheer boredom and spite to others' warnings, Horse decided that she would venture out on her own. No need for parental supervision. She wanted to go out and face the world and find these rumored scary forest cats and challenge them. She talked to anyone and everyone she knew to get as much information as possible and then set out without leaving a trace at merely eight moons old. Her fighting spirit led her to some wild encounters and several times getting trapped up trees by foxes and such. Her introduction to the new clan was a brief meeting in which she caught several birds in one go, boasting that she is the best hunter in the lands and she feels that she would be a good addition. She grew a liking to collecting feathers from her prey and stashing them in her fur and her den, hence the suffix feather. Her mentor is Blue Runner. And now moving on to the four kits that Quiet Star and Sky Seed had in the brief time that they were together. Blue Paw, Wild Paw, Gold Paw, and Nectar Paw. Gold Paw, later known as Gold Watcher, is a yellow and golden mackerel tabby tom with blue green eyes. Quick to accuse someone when something goes wrong, Gold Paw often places the blame of his bad actions onto others. He's quite vengeful and hates seeing others succeed over him, so he trains a lot harder than the rest of his siblings. He acts very mature, often even referring to himself as his own made-up warrior name. He dubbed himself Gold Watcher because he wants to be the one to protect everyone, and funnily enough, he earned himself that name later on due to his skills of observation and tracking. His act of maturity, however, ends up falling through after moons of annoying other clanmates with his ego-stroking ways. As he matures, he realizes that he should have spent more time just being a kit with his siblings and regrets being so stubborn about it. Goldpaw's mentor is Clover Moth, who doesn't have any prior experience in mentoring. This usually results in Goldpaw getting away with far too many things. He's also often sent to his father, Quiet Star, for punishment, so they become quite close with one another. Nectarpaw, later called Nectar Whisker, is a short furred gray blue tom with light blue eyes. Nectarpaw always felt incredibly set aside from his siblings, and he never really understood why. He had a normal experience growing up as a kit and was very excited to begin training alongside everyone else. He grew up seeing that he was much smaller and more frail than the rest of his litter mates, and for the longest time, the others thought he was born a she-cat. It never felt quite right, but he just went along with it to not disturb the peace. Nectarpaw had always been unsure of himself until he began progressively maturing and realizing that he was developing more Tom-like features such as larger cheeks, broader shoulders, and a deeper voice, but still holding the frame of a she-cat. Through many moons of uncertainty and self-doubt, he one day learned from a friendly group of loners and kitty pets that it just simply happens to some cats. There was nothing wrong with Nectarpaw. He was unsure of everything going on, but he knew from then forward that he was actually a Tom. Once talking to his clan about it and explaining it all, he learns from Quiet Star that the clans originally believed that cats like him were gifted by Star Clan to be able to have the journey of both a she-cat and a Tom. Wildpaw, later named Wild Splash, is a medium-furred white she-cat with amber eyes and a black-tipped ear. She is shy and rather clingy, attaching herself right off the bat to her parents and web pelt. After realizing that she didn't want to train to fight, she would just let her siblings pummel her during training, often resulting in her being sent to the medicine den. She started using it as an excuse to get away from her responsibilities. She also had a slight stutter and would sometimes not be able to formulate sentences when reprimanded or corrected. Webpelt made her feel more at ease afterwards and he eventually offered to train her in his ways. She eventually admits that she has very intense dreams and rarely gets much rest. Webpelt explains that it is likely an attempt at communication from the ancestors and the two of them set out to try and reconnect to Star Clan. They bond in a very sweet father-daughter kind of way and despite her stutter, Webpelt is the only cat who doesn't seem to be bothered by it or make fun of it. Blue Paw, later known as Blue Patch, is a white and blue-gray tom with short fur and blue eyes. Out of the group of them, Blue Paw is the most responsible and understanding of the rules. His mentor is his own mother, Skyseed. They bond super close over the course of his apprenticeship, and she sees leader qualities in him and aims to hone those skills. As a result, she focuses less on the other three, and Blue Paw gains a bit of a superiority complex due to the constant praise and attention. He ends up picking on his sister Wildpaw the most, saying that she's the least favorite. He does end up growing out of this a bit later on down the road, but isn't particularly remorseful for his actions. He becomes more of a stick in the mud, shooting down others' ideas and trying to take over conversations. Skyseed believes that he can do absolutely no wrong and overlooks his flaws. 
This is also because he puts on this sort of act for her when it's to his benefit. Bluepaw ends up having a dislike for most cats and avoids small talk unless someone is talking about him. He turns into sort of a bully towards the middle of his apprenticeship as well, making him quite unlikable. And here's everyone together. I hope you all enjoyed. This was really similar to the other clan generator challenge, but it was still super fun. There may be more clan gen to come. He was originally a part of Fudge Clan. <laughs> Fudge Clan. He grew up to be one. She's quite the social butterfly. <laughs> I don't like the way I'm talking. <clears throat> She tends to be motherly. Moth, excuse me. Did I tell you you could enter the room? Uh-uh, not all y'all getting in here. No, get out. Go. Get. I don't know where I was in the recording. <laughs> River Kid's health kept declining until he joined the ranks of Star Clan. I shouldn't say that because Star Clan doesn't exist. Horsepaw, later known as Horf. <laughs> Get off the <laughs> bed, I'm done with you guys today. He turns into sort of a bully in the middle of his apprentice. <laughs>